What's up guys? Today we're going to be sprucing up good old Jenny here, R95 Cherokee XJ with the 4.0. As you can see, well you can't see it now, but I'll show you guys. Our rocker panels had the old vinyl and rubber decals on them, they had the rubber trims. We're going to go ahead and remove that and prep it to rhino line it. I did buy the Rust-Oleum truck bed liner. Just gonna try and spruce it up a little bit. I didn't wanna spend any money on cosmetics yet because I do wanna get everything under the hood and drivetrain fixed. Granted, Laura and I have come to the conclusion that not to dump too much money into the engine since it does have a little under 300,000 miles on it. Uh, so we will probably start investing in lift kits, wheels, tires, things of that nature. I'm debating back and forth on the head gasket, like I mentioned in an earlier video of this one. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take care of this. Items that I recommend you have are going to be acetone to clean your surface. This is the Rust-Oleum brand. You don't have to have this brand, but anything helps. Bed liner spray or roll-on of your choice. Like I said earlier, this is a budget build, so we're gonna go with the Rust-Oleum truck bed spray paint and hope for the best. Or Orbit Sander. I am team Ryobi since I'm a broke boy. And yeah, I recommend is to have a drop cloth. I'm gonna use this drop cloth to go ahead and cover everything else apart from that bottom rocker. So we have this one here. It's the clean release by Duck, matching tape. And of course, you'll wanna have some sandpaper. Here's a- Everything's off and just pretty much mask off what I don't but what I believe is our line I did not prep this so don't judge me but go ahead and open up this door here and I'll probably keep it to the same line as this just for continuity So, I'm not going to record every single body panel I film just because it'll take too much damn time. But as far as the vinyl goes, I'm, I don't think I'm going to stand all the way through it. Budget build. Um, yeah. Just going to stand down as much as I can and I'll get to you guys once I start to spray. So. So even though I said I wasn't going to remove the vinyl or sand it, I ended up removing it as you can see here. And now this vinyl is probably, I would say at least 10 years old. It was completely dry rotted. It was actually separating its layers. So I went ahead and grabbed a knife and then a box cutter and I began to peel it off. I wasn't too worried about scratching the paint as I was going to paint this area anyways. All right guys, so we ended up taking off the good old back bumper. Had to crack a Corona because the U-Haul hitch is probably the stupidest thing ever. But yeah, I do want to come around here and coat a good chunk of this and I'll probably do some of this because here there's a little bit of rust up top here. But overall, she looks pretty clean. Looks like there might have been a slight bond to repair here. That's what I want to check out also. So, yeah. Pretty much you've got these bolts here and there. And this side as well. If you don't have the U-Haul hitch, it's easy to take off. You can do it all from underneath, and that's that. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got the rear bumper out. 
That's the left rear fender, fender flare. Um, like I said earlier, we have found some Bondo repairs here. It looks like the car was hit on this part. Fun stuff. All of our little bolts that hold the fender broke. But fortunately, there's Avery. These are the brackets and we can drill them out. So we're gonna go ahead and drill them out and put new bolts in. So this one actually stayed in, but I'm afraid this one will probably snap. After a few hours of trying hard, here we go. So I'm gonna leave this fender flare attached to the front lip because I don't feel like riveting anything. I'm debating if I should come up here with the liner, but for now I'm just gonna go to where pretty much cover the black strip and about this little, maybe up to like an inch above that. Alrighty guys. All right guys, so we've got it pretty much taped off. Unfortunately, the weather, it's about 34 degrees outside, so I'm not 100% sure if it'll look great. I did a little sample test here, sanded it because I had some dripping. But we'll go ahead and paint that rocker now and see what we got. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of ghetto fabrications here. Um, so, let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. As you can see, we've ran aligned also the fender flares. Now, in removing them, we've snapped quite a few of these bolts. So we went ahead and went to Home Depot. I'm gonna drill these out. I've got some other bolts I'm gonna use and some JV weld. I'm gonna weld it just to make my life easier and put it back on. Right, guys so here she is in all her glory i did not do the front bumper but i did end up doing the fender flares and the rockers as you can see there is some low spots but it is what it is she's gonna get beat up anyways so here she is we did do the rear bumper as well
But yeah, we're off to Gunlock, so let's have some fun.